meditating, mm -hmm. I was reading that verse. Actually, I was reading all the Psalm, uh, Psalm 199, 119. And that verse really struck me home. So let me give it to you. You could the Take a shot at it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Psalm Who could you speak while I'm looking for the verse? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was I was waiting for you to bring the verse. Okay, you, you could just speak. I'm looking for it. Mm. Is the, I write it down, I, I, I mark it, but the, okay, this is the verse. 116.65, Psalm 165. Psalm 119, verse 165. Okay. Great peace have they which love thy law. Nothing shall offend them. It make a great uh, impact in me because most of the time is when you offend it, then you get wanted, and when you want it, then things happen. But if you have peace, if the peace that God gives us is never disturbed because you never offend it. Therefore, you are still intact. You you still remember without peace you cannot function. It's peace when you have peace, then you could function the 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 proper way. So without peace, you confuse, you trouble, you you all over because you don't have peace. Um, everything coming to you, everything. And anything somebody said, it, it trouble you. Anything, not somebody just come to your mind, it trouble you. You trouble by yourself, you trouble by somebody else. Because anything in the past coming into your mind, that trouble you without nobody say anything. Uh, when somebody says some, if if you go walk or you talk with somebody, even in the street or in the house or at work, anything that person said, you become extremely suspicious. And by doing so, you take your peace out. But if you have Concentrate in him, you have peace. And, 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 and the backup of that verse is when the Lord Jesus Yeshua said, Abide in me. If you are by me, then he are by you. Then, therefore, then the blood of Christ is flowing into you. 
or in other words, the spirit of Christ is throwing into your his spirit. So there is no need, there is no room for trouble. The spirit of God fool you so much and there is no need for, for, for to be offended. So it, 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 it gives me great joy to see that verse because to me, I experience it in many cases. In many cases, I experience it. If I not, your brother would not be functioning properly. <laughs> your brother would be always troubled. So peace of thee, which love thy law. And what is the law Yeshua left behind for us? The first love he left behind for us that we should love one another. That's the law. That's the law. That's that's the law. <laughs> because this is a commandment God gave years left for us. We should love. Now, to be loved, you have to abide in Christ. You have to abide in the Yeshua. How do we abide in Yeshua? That's the question. The question to me, the way I see myself, is that whatever happened to me, whatever happened to me, it happened to Christ before. It's already, it's already happened to Christ. So because it happened to Christ, and therefore um, there's no need to me to be offended. There's no need to be offended. So this is this is the the bulk of the matter. Welcome, my dear. Thank you. Yes. So we we I was sharing a verse uh, with Ricardo without recording. Uh, this is Psalm 119, verse uh, 165. Great peace. Happy. Which love they love. We started recording actually. We recorded it. We recorded it. <laughs> yeah, we're recording. Ah. Okay. This is it. That's Psalm 119, verse 65. Um The, the bulk of that verse, what I mean, the bulk of that verse is in verse 165, 61. 161 gives you the context in which that brother put that verse. 161, 162, 163, but especially 161 is the one who gives the, con the context of the verse. So verse 165 is a no the text of the the text of the passage of the verse is on 161. The text. The context of it is 165. You, you see the situation here. The situation in verse 165, princes have persecuted me without cause, but my heart is stand in hope of thy word. I rejoice at thy word, and one that find a great spoil. I hate and I hold lying, but thy law do I love. So uh, there were a lot of things happen here. 
uh, there were a lot of accusation. There are a lot of things that been said, but according to verse 165, great peace have they. I have peace. Why I have peace? Because I love the word. Now, what word we, we, we love now? The law of God. The law of God. So the law of God keep, us at, keep me at peace and keep us at peace. Even though, even though, <laughs> trouble, <laughs> even though a lot of trouble uh, coming at me. But then the, the thing is this, what makes it so beautiful, who you think wrote that verse, who you think come up with that verse from the from the old from the new from the old testament? This is Yeshua. Beforehand was with Christing to God to keep him because when he came in into the earth, they trash him to the dead. So whatever I am passing through, whatever come to me, is not new because he passed through it also beforehand for me. And that's why peace come in and you show up. So now you become, I am you becoming, um, how is it that? Re help me to find the word, please. Replica or? I think that verse was, was Yeshua. Yes, Yeshua. Speaking. Speaking. So, Before he came in. Psalm 119. 119. That was David coming up. Yeah. And not a prophet coming in that song. But they were speaking uh, prophetically, prophetically. They were not speaking only about themselves. But they were speaking prophetically about Christ, about Yeshua. So most of those things that are passing, that, that are in the Psalm 119, when you go in the New Testament, you will see Christ pass through all of them. He passed all of them. They despise him. They talk about him. They mock him. They laugh at him. And it was not really mostly common people who were doing so. Most the people who were doing so, they were points. What do I mean by points? They were leaders. The high priest was part of it. The Pharisees was part of it. The scribe was part of it. The Sadducees was part of it. These are not ordinary common people. They were high class of people. So this is what happened to Christ. But remember again, Christ plead to the Father about who? about you and I, about all the others, all of us, and tell the father that because of him, they hate us. Is it, so is there a way to discern where you would say, you think it's Christ speaking versus it's, Mo, it's David speaking? Yeah, let's go to the old, to the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the New Testament. That's not the book of John.
Let's go to the good old John. Let's just start from let's just start from um, verse um verse five in John seventeen. We could start from verse five and then we go down. But also there are other verses, but let us check that only. It starts from verse five, read verse five all the way down, keep going. The book. John 17. Verse five. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the man which thou hast given me out of the world. Thy they were, and thou give them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the word which thou give me, and they have received them, and they have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou did send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thy, and all mine are thy, and thy are mine. And I am glorified him. I glorify and I am glorified in them. And now I am now no more in the world but they are in the world. And I came to thee, Holy Father, keep thou, keep true thy own name, those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, those that thou give me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but this, but the son of perdition, that the, the scripture might be fulfilled. Now he fell all the way back. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled. And themselves, I have given them thy word, and the world hid them. The world had hid them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not for that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou to test keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even uh, as I am not of the world. Sanctify them to thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sake, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through uh, sanctify the truth. 
neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they will may that that they all may be one, as thou, Father, are uh, in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that they world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glorify on the glory which thou hast given me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I and them, and thou and me, that they may be made perfect and one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and has loved them as thou hast loved me. Um, it going on, but any case, the, that's one part. The other part I could uh, I could go with you is in John twelve. In John twelve. I think the point I was asking is if you would say that that part of Psalms that David writes is is Christ speaking. When do we start to decide when is Christ speaking and when it's not Christ speaking? The Holy Spirit will tell you. Okay. I cannot tell you. The Spirit of God which is in you is the one who will tell you. But nevertheless, you will find reference from the New Testament. And I'm giving, um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for more. So everything so you mean to say is so when we speak of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. speaking in when we all say so, being that David is writing a song and he is. And I can understand that as a songwriter, that when he's in the spirit, he's writing something, even though it's his own words, his spirit is guiding him to say things, right? I would assume that's the understanding. The understanding is that, remember, most of the things that are in the Old Testament are prophetically writing. Remember, I say most of the things that are in the Old Testament is prophetically writing. Prophetically, that means things that are going to come. Things that are going to pass. But those things are going to be fulfilled in Christ and Yeshua. Yeshua are going to um, face those things when he came on earth. So those things wrote already in the new in the old testament. So when Yeshua come in, is not new. For people that are led by the Spirit of God, will discover, will find out whatever they are saying to Christ, whatever the way they treat him, the way they conduct with him, and the way they do thing to him. All these things will be manifested in Christ. And this is. Christ is the fulfillment of the Old Testament. Anything you see in Christ, it is written in the Old Testament. It is the Holy Spirit of God who will reveal you what happened to Christ. Now, if you don't know what happened to Christ when he was on earth, then you will not, you will really don't have any clue. 
you won't have any clue. If you see the cheap money get from us, you don't really pay attention to the cheap money get and how you get those cheap money, then you're going to miss the ball game. You have to follow his word, follow his, Christ is the way. Christ fulfilled everything that was written about him from the Old Testament, all the way from the book of Genesis, all the way down to the book of Malachi. Amen. All, all the way to the book of Malachi. Those things that was happened to Christ, those things already written then. But nevertheless, I cannot tell you. I cannot show you. I cannot teach you these things. It is the spirit of God who will reveal those things to you. However, you have to pay close attention to Yeshua. Very close attention to know what happened, to see, to see exactly. That's why the book of John is very special book. The book of John is, is, is a special book, but everything that is in the book of John it all is already written about him. His death already predicted from the Old Testament. His body already predicted from the Old Testament. So I cannot teach you, I cannot tell you anything about that. It's only God's Spirit who could make you see what is going on. Where the man talking, where did God talking? Mm -hmm. I cannot reveal that to you. Is uh, I don't have. I could re reveal it to me. I'm I'm talking is I'm talking personally to me. That me talking now, talking the way the Lord revealed it to me. He has to reveal it to you by yourself. Um, let's go to the book of John again then we could refer a few of the things that happening already Um, is that any one of you could find a verse where Christ said, I honor my father, but you dishonor me? Any one of you could find, it's in the book of John. I honor my father, but you honor, dishonor me. Is in the book of John. John 8, verse 49. John what? Which verse? Which chapter? Uh, I think it's John 8 or something. John 8, verse 39. I am not possessed by a demon, said Jesus, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. Okay. Now, who uh, read the previous verse to see what's going on? That, that's what chapter are you? The eight. Chapter eight. Read the previous verse because these are the response, but read the context, the text, the, the text of the of the of the conversation. Verse 46 to 45. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not, which you have convinced, which of you have convinced me of sin. And if I say truth, why do you no, don't go there yet? Go go a little further up. Is that from verse 12? Is that from verse 12? 
first we always start to tell you what Christ is saying. Then and Jesus, uh, yeah, go, go ahead. Then Jesus spake again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Okay, now, do you understand the, the conversation here? Do you get any idea of the conversation? The conversation is that Christ proclaimed himself to be the light. But they say, what they say now, you are a lie. You are a liar. What you are saying, not true. It, it, the Pharisees is telling them, telling him what you are saying is not true. You are a liar. Now, who are the Pharisees? The church leaders. The church leaders. But put it, put it in, in a real context. Who are the Pharisees? As leaders. Yes, as leaders, but we could say leaders, but we have to describe them in a very in a positive way. The Bible scholars, the priests, and that's right. They are they are the, the, the scholars, they are they are the intelligent person. It's not ordinary people talking. Now in, in Psalm 119, the prince are not ordinary person. Who are the prince? The princes. What princes are we in some one hundred in, in some one hundred nineteen? Who are princes? Royals. They are the top of the food chain. They are intelligent people. They cut out from when you're talking about the prince. What they really? What route? What the what the road that you are taking? Kingdom. That's right. You're talking about kingdom. You're talking about people that are qualified to be what? Rulers. To be no, don't put it rulers like that. To be king. People that are qualified to be king. These phases are qualified. In fact. They are the one who pass law in Israel. The high priest is, is a top of the food chain. What is the role of a high priest? The leader of the... Of the... Yeah, but what is the role of a high priest? They are the one. Who, go ahead. To lead the people. Yes, to lead the people. But what is the? I agree with you. I agree is to lead the people. Lead the people in what? To give them rules. To give them wool. Where do they get? Where do we get it? Scripture. They got me. No. By the direction of God. Right, the law, it's the scripture. It's scripture, but what Aaron was doing, what is the role of Aaron? What Aaron does? Speak what Moses spoke. He speak what Moses said because he became Moses' piece of, uh, piece of mouth. But where do Moses get that information? From God. And who was mostly in life in danger in the temple? Yes. Why? Because he was direct contact with God. Direct contact with the mercy seat. He's the one to take the blood to go inside. And do you know what they put on the robe of the high priest? in order to, to know that he's still alive inside that place. Bell. They put bell. 
So this is no joke. This is not here saying. And it's still to, it, until now, those things still exist in some cases in Israel, they have high priest, even though that high priest is not a, is already gone. <laughs> you understand, they, they, they keep the, they keep the shell. I call it shell because Christ already fulfilled that. They keep the shell. But the reason why I go to you in that, when Christ talking, when it's Psalm 119 talking about plants, he's talking about not only ruler, but people that are well educated, people that are with sound mind, because God chose them to be so. So Christ now in someone in 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 um in in in, in chapter eight verse twelve is talking now he promotes himself what you see Christ did now he promotes himself he promotes himself how would I how would you describe that that verse verse twelve saying accuse him of self. Righteous. That's that's, that's what he was That's right. He, he promoted himself, and then this guy telling you are a liar, and not only they tell him he's that. And remember, when they are telling that, when they are telling that, they are not telling that behind curtain. Do you see before before who they are telling him that? Is in the people before the people. It's before the people. It's not behind curtain. They are they 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 are accusing and telling you are a liar right before the masses because he was teaching. He was talking to masses to a group of people. He was talking, but it happened. Pharisees were among those people, and the Pharisees call him right among the why why while he's talking, they call him out. They call him out. Now read uh, um, read verse verse fourteen now. Read verse fourteen and verse and and, and I mean just thirteen I should say. No, so, the, the verse, we read verse 13. Let us read verse 14. Jesus, when he found was a young ass, sat there early. No, that's a John 8, send a John chapter 8, verse 14. 12. <clears throat> Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true, for I know whence I came and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Okay, now how do Christ know where he came from and where he can be going? Because he is eternal. He's eternal, but um, where you could find that? In the Old Testament. Where could you find that in the Old Testament? Go to the book of Isaiah. Go to the book of Isaiah. You will see when they already promised that this one going to come from God. God going to send him. They could, they're going to call him counselor, prince of peace. Mighty God, How, why are they going to call him those names? Because that's what he is. I know this is what he is, but why they call him this name? Because of what he does when he was on earth. The miracle that he done, the way he talk, the way he express himself. In fact, there is the one verse who said now, he said to them, if I, if I did one thing before you guys, 
every one of you marvel. Every one of you cannot do it because you, you want it. Do you understand? Christ is, is, is referring back to what was what he was from the beginning. To find out, you have to go to the Old Testament to see that. Now, he, he, he said to them, it very God because of what he is, what he does, the work that he's doing on earth. And what kind of work he's doing on earth? Okay. Can you do a little bit uh, on verse 12 again? Can you go back on verse 12 again? Uh, right. there's, a, there's something that right there you revealed to me and you. And when he said, I am the light of the, of the world. It's Jesus. Whoever, whoever he asks. Whoever follow me shall not well, walk in darkness, but shall yeah. have the light of life. Of that light. Okay. So that that uh, paragraph right there is is fulfilled for me and you. Go ahead. Because how, how it fulfilled. Right. Because it said, whoever follow me. Yes, correct. But how it fulfill it fulfill? Because, uh, because he is the light. I he understand, light. but how it fulfill? How could you give it to me? It fulfill by the Holy Spirit. Because yeah, but well, you... tell me, tell me again. Give me more. Uh, because of the understanding he gives you. Because he opened your eyes to see things that you could never see. The Holy Spirit teach you and make you see things that cannot be revealed by man. Okay. So the Holy Spirit is teaching you things. And what things is teaching you? One that God is in Christ. Two, mm -hmm. that God is telling you that he exists. That God is telling you, we tell you, that what Christ is saying, is saying the truth. And that Christ also is telling us that there is two worlds a world of lie and a world of truth. And it is printing in you every day what is truth and what is lie. Is revealing to you. That's the way light come in. It gives you understanding. It gives you knowledge. It gives you wisdom. It gives you everything that you are Thinking is fooling your mind, your spirit every day. That's the way you see that he is the light. And then uh, there's, there's, there's another clue where you told, you were saying that Christ, it is fulfill everything. Yes, yes. You go to Ezekiel, where he was talking to Ezekiel, I presume it was 34, when he said- Read the verse. That, yeah, um, look, look for the verse and read it. Uh, it's it, 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 Ezekiel chapter four, but it is uh, 34, I mean, 34, uh, chapter 34, it's just it talking just, about- it, Wait a second. Before you talk, Ezekiel, let us go to it. Because yeah. we want to compare the Old Testament with the New Testament. That's yeah. what we are doing now. We are comparing the things that he fulfilled in the Old yeah. Testament. Now, Ezekiel, give me the chapter. 30, 34. 
Ezekiel 34. Ezekiel 34. Uh, 34. Yes. But is the whole chapter when you look it at it? Go, it doesn't it, matter. Don't worry about, don't worry about that. Because once we could get two or three verses from it, it could give us a clue. Yeah. Keep, 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 uh, 34 verse what? Uh, I do not have no verse, but what I could say. Okay, let, me, let yeah. me read it. Let me read it. 34. I could find verse for you. Let's read verse 1 or verse 2. Son of man, that is God talking to that uh, Ezekiel. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherd of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus say the Lord, God unto the shepherd. Now, remember the word shepherd. What the word shepherd mean? It's, it's the same thing as the, as the prophecy. Because no, 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 no. Look in the word shepherd. What shepherd mean? Concentrate to the word. They watch over the sheep. Okay, he watch okay. over the sheep, but to whom really white shepherd mean really? Mm. Ricardo already said before concerning the 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 the, the Pharisees. What what word we use for the word Pharisees? Before I give the description of the word Pharisees. The pastor? Leaders. Leader. Leaders. That's the word we use. But we, we go further than leaders, we go to king. But he referred to the shepherd. But actually, he referred to leaders, to king. He referred to prince. That, that's the word shepherd here mean. He refer to prince, to king, to people that lead the nation, that take care of the nation. And who take care of the nation? The, 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 the president, the king. The prime minister, the prime minister, the president. The president of but America. Yes, we we get that. That's so if we get that, you have, to, you have to spell it out so we could get the full understanding to whom that he was referring to. You have to spell it out. It's, it's prefer to, to everybody on earth, but... No, it's not really but everybody it's, on earth. Not, it's not, it's, it's not it's, only the leader, but those, I, 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 it seems to me is it's, it's talking, remember, it's talking to Israel, but it prefers to, for the whole earthly, when I look at it. No, but, what he's saying here, what he's saying here, remember, listen carefully. He said, son of man, prophesy against, against the shepherd of Israel. Yes, but, prophesy against the shepherd, the head. The president. He's talking because about. The, the, remember, it's the Pharisee that gives them what God says. Yeah, well, but this is what I'm. This is oh, what we are if saying. Even Joe Meyer, if it's is, Joe Meyer prophesied that too. I understand. They, prophesy, I understand. they don't want to I, give what God says. And it, like just you say, it, it, they give the message to the people, to me and you. It's them that lead the people, the sheep. Uh, we, understand, we understand that. that. We, we understand when he, that. When, okay. We, when we, in verse, I, we in verse understand 
we understand that when we when you refer to a group, listen to the instruction of the prophet. What is the instruction of the prophet? What this what, what God instruct the the prophet to do? Tell them the message to tell. What no, what what what? Okay, to whom God instruct the prophet to speak to? To to the people. To no. To what? No. To the nation. Huh? No. God is very specific. What do I mean by the word is specific? Specific when you say to Israel. Specific mean he talk he talking direct to whom he want to talk to. Yes. He talking. He was talking prophet uh, directly to Israel. No, he was talking against the prophet. The shepherd of Israel, not Israel per se, not Israel per se, but to the to the shepherd, the prophet, the shepherd are the key. Why talk to the prophet? And um, why talk to the to the to the to the shepherd? Because he's the leader. He's the, he's the leader, but. Um, he talked to the prophet, he's the leader, leader of whom? The leader of, uh, of Israel. Uh, people, yeah. Of Israel. When we say yeah. Israel, we mean the whole nation. Yes. But he addressed himself to the shepherd. Yes. So if he addressed himself to the shepherd, we have to leave it there without attacking yet the people. The people isn't here too, but the emphasis we have to make, we have to make emphasis on the prophet, um, I mean, on the shepherd, because the shepherd is the one who carry the heavy load. Yeah. The shepherd is the one who will be punished. Not the people per se. What do I mean by not the people per se? Help me. You got to help me. Get involved. You say the people. The shepherd is the, the messenger. He's the messenger, but he, the, the, when he talks to the shepherd, he's against the shepherd. Mm -hmm. Why he against the shepherd? Because the shepherd is trying to discredit him. No, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Why he, he against the shepherd? I have to go back to. They're not doing their job. Now you're talking to me. You're coming to me. Understand these things. Now you're talking to me. The shepherd are not doing their job. And what are their job? But he said to do, they do their own stuff. They bring like uh we we usually say they they they, they bring their plow. Um, no 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 what they do what, tell me the job of the prophet. It's supposed to guide the people. It's number one to guide the people how. By sharing the word, telling them by the sharing word. the word, but how? Even in the laws. But how again? From the word of God. God gives them. Yes, but by the word of God is true. What is the word of God? Well, in those days, it's the it's the laws. Yeah, but what is the law? Love. Help me. Love. Love, but what is the law again? In those days, this is the commandments, the Deuteronomy, the go back, go come, come to come to America. What is the duty of President uh, Biden? 
toward American people. It's a leader. What do you mean by leader? Please don't tell me the word leader. Describe me, please, the duty. I mean, it's a general work, it's a lot. Give me some of the duty, some of the things. He signs the laws, he signs. Biden has a responsibility to protect America from enemy. Biden has a responsibility to make justice happen in America, that everybody could have a daily bread. Biden has a responsibility to have a judge that to fulfill when that judge is supposed to do something, he should not punish people that he should not punish. Biden has a responsibility to make America open in such a way that everybody could get a job. Biden has a responsibility not to discriminate it against nobody in America. We said not to, when you're talking about leaders, you're talking about leaders, but you don't know the point that leaders have responsibility to do. When we these are God law that we should do justice to every man, every woman, every children. These are God word that we should not discriminate it against nobody. God word that everybody equal. By now, have to make sure this thing carry out as the president of America. You should not go destroy other president to control other place. Everybody should be able to eat in their own yard. So when we're talking about shepherds, we're talking about leaders, these are responsibilities God gave them to do. Understand my brethren. Understand this thing. And see this thing, not God word, God word, God word, God word, God word, God word, and then we don't know our responsibility. It is your responsibility to take care of your family. It is your responsibility because God says so. God intervened in those things. So all that are God word. That's why he referred to the shepherd. He said to the shepherd, Shepherd, that means the president, the prime ministers, the judges, the, the, the police department, all depend upon God's word. You, same thing. Me, same thing. This is, this is, this is what he said there. Understand. People are saying, God word, God word, and, don't, and, and, and listen to heaven to come down to go to heaven religious. That's why I don't believe in religion. I don't believe in religion. We have a duty, and let's fulfill that duty according to what God said for us to do toward each other. Understand each other and bear burdening of each other. That's the way it is. Now, he said the shepherd, and now you, you have an idea what he mean by against the shepherd. Now you have an idea in the book of Ezekiel when God said to, fire, to, the, to the prophet to go speak against the shepherd of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, thus say the Lord God unto the shepherd, you see, you don't, you don't, you don't put the, the Israel and that post, even though Israel is in that, you know, but is under cover. In other words, they are the one to instruct it, Israel. They are the one to instruct it, the people. They are the one who put to pass those things, to execute it, those things on behalf of the people. On behalf of the people. 
So he told them that against them, I'm telling you, go be to the shepherd of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed the flock? What do you mean by that? Please give me some information there. Please give me something. Give me, uh, I want you to draw. I want you to draw. What, what God is saying to the shepherd? Help me. What God say to the shepherd? Yeah, to the shepherd. What woe that goes to the shepherd? Um, first of all, uh, God see what they doing, and what they doing, they worship her. Uh, adult, uh, I mean, read the verse, read the verse, read the verse, read the verse. The verse. Two. Ezekiel, two verse. Two, Ezekiel 34, verse two. Is there no Read the verse. So mm -hmm. okay. Well, it's telling, it's, a, it's saying for the leaders who put themselves first before the people. So. Well, Feed with the uh, concentrate and they would feed, yeah, feed themselves and not the shepherds. Feed. What do you mean by feed themselves? So the shepherd is supposed to take care of the flock first, right? So yes, but what they do, what they do, they take uh, they take for themselves first. They, they what they take for themselves. <sighs> I imagine here is, is metaphor for the leaders who are eating. It's not metaphor. It's the reality of life. That's not metaphor. Oh, it's, it's not. It's not speaking. That's not metaphor. This is reality. Take uh, that to see it all time. Words of that. We're not talking about shepherds anymore. We're talking about the fact. Forget about that, Ricardo. So, no. You see, this is what destroy Haiti. The president take money. Yeah, and it is pain for the people. They put it in their pocket right. and send it to other country. Right. I'm just saying that that's what it is. It's speaking. Well, that, that's what. So he spell it out. So, but it's not a. It's a metaphor, and that we're it's not, not a metaphor. This so, is real. A metaphor is something you supposed to. No, 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 but it's not true. Now here, the word metaphor, meaning the shepherd, is a metaphor. So it's not shepherds we're talking about. Shepherd, shepherd, means shepherd. The shepherd. We're talking about sheep and, and goats. We're not yes, talking. shepherd. That's mean, not who he was talking about. He's talking about the leaders. So he's yeah, but, sheep as a metaphor. The flock it, it, is it, the to me, I don't put that metaphor. I, don't, I put that the person give you analogy. Right, that's why that, that analogy, analogy and metaphor are the same thing. If we give you analogy, it make you irrefer because I need to the word shepherd. And in fact, he Jesus Christ is a shepherd. shepherd. Right, these are analogies. There's a reason for the shepherd is an analogy. It's an analogy. Yeah, but don't go in that meta metallurgy. Well, go what... direct because once you go there. Well, if it was direct, he would have said, tell the leaders. But this is direct. Because that's not direct. That's we, are, we are facing this thing every day in our life. That's why right now I am in, I live Haiti and I, I am right now in this country. I think you because you're, of the way the, the people which we call leaders, which we call shepherd, which we call a president, which we call senators, which we call deputies, 
political judges are doing in those countries. I don't think they call them they call them shepherds. Shepherds is meant. What I'm saying is you're mixing, you're, you're, you're focusing too much on the words as if it means something. I'm saying he meant the shepherd to give us the, the analogy. That's all I mean. So it's not saying you get caught up in the word metaphor, like it means something. It, it's just analogy. So the metaphor is the people, the leaders. So he, instead of he's saying, he's telling the lead, tell, warning the prophets to tell the leaders who are supposed to lead their people and guide them to not take for themselves first he's supposed to put that which they're supposed to put the people first but what's happening is the corruption of the leaders who are taking advantage of their people and taking advantage of their position and and not serving the people so this is a warning uh, that to me when you give it to me like that you give it to me that way well, that you means have, you, you, have you to give understand it. You understand what's going on. Well, that, if you give me the chance. Because, not the chance. Is that in, in religious business, when we're talking religiously, we use the word metaphor. Mm -hmm. But when we live religious business, we don't use the word metaphor. We come direct. And I'm, I'm not addressing to any one of you in religious term. Religious term is far from me. And this is what the Holy Spirit will show you. When, he, when the Holy Spirit reveals things to you, it don't reveal things to you metaphor. It reveals things to you as it happened in well, your eyes. I think, you're, I think you're just mixing words because almost every scripture is met metaphorically because it's to mean something else. So most of the metaphor, is, you know where my metaphor origin? Do you, know where the, you do, do you metaphor. know do you know where the where metaphor origin? Where is it originate? From European. It's, is is European come up with metaphor? I don't know. If it's, In the ancient time, they don't come with metaphor to you. They I come with proverb, not even proverb. They come to you in an ancient time. Everybody knows exactly what is going on. They don't, in my time now, in the time of a, a, a European, in the time now we use the word medium to describe, to describe something spirit. We use the word medium. But medium to me is a disgrace because God is not a medium. It's a reality of life. So come direct. Don't go on a bush. Come direct. The word metaphor just means figure of speech. It's the same as an analogy. I think what is figure of speech? Meaning that, okay, when, as you mentioned Christ, as he is also the, the, the shepherd, and he's abused as a sheep, all these are representative of something. So he is the leader. He is the leader. So in the sense when God, when Christ does parables, parables are met as metaphors, right? They're not actual, when he give you a parable of the, the, the weed and the tear, we're not talking about weeds and tears, right? We're talking about people. So these are the metaphors. Yeah, but if you- so that's, all, that's all I'm saying. It's just you use it. You yeah, know, but yeah, that, when we talk on the word. Don't hear, we don't hear, don't you see, don't you see God is in everything? Don't you see God is in everything that exists? Don't you see God he, he exists in tears, that mean in, in trees and birds and animal and the plant that we plant and the food that we eat? in the water that we drink, in the air that we breathe, in the gas that we use, in the fire that we, we, we use for, for good things. You do, don't you see God mixed up in all, all of them? He use, he use whatsoever he want to use. 
If you want to use fire, you use fire. But it's the Holy Spirit who will reveal to you what he really talking about. Because most of the time, God is speaking dark word. What do I mean by dark word? I think you mean dark, you mean, um, you mean vague? No. It's dark, you mean, because dark would mean. Hey, remember, with vague, you mean not much. Dark word. Dark as in, as in no light? It's dark? Is That's it right. Light? That's right. So is that what you mean to say, that he's, he's saying things in the dark? Not in the dark. The thing that he said, you cannot understand it. Right. He's, so he's speaking. He's not speaking. He's speaking in parables. He, he's not talking. He's not talking direct the way we're talking. Yeah. So you understand what you're just saying now when you first said that he says direct and now he's saying it's not direct. I'm he's saying. Not, no. What, what he's saying is not talking. Understand God. God talk is only why the Pharisees could not understand Jesus. Because Jesus speaks in parables. No. They were looking for specifics and, and Christ speaks because in Because they do not understand him. He, when they give you assignment, when you are giving assignment in the school, why you cannot, why you don't pass the assignment? You don't understand, you don't fully study. That's right. Is, is it because the teacher don't talk properly? No. Do you understand, my brother? It's just there are things you cannot pick up. God the Spirit is the one who will, who will put understanding into your brain into your spirit to make you see exactly what he's talking about. Well, that's ex a good point is when he says that to Nicodemus about being born again now. <laughs> okay, so therefore then please give me a break. But give, me a break. give me a break. So he's he saying you must thing. not make them complicated. Right, so he's not yeah, it, telling it, them it, to okay, go ahead. Sorry, so I'm just saying once he says that, that's not an actual that's not a direct, that's not an actual statement. It's a metaphor. For it's not a metaphor. It's, well, not, it's, it's exactly what he no, said. No, because no. Look, Nicodemus, wait, wait. Nicodemus. Why? Why? Why, said, why wait, Nicodemus? Wait. Why? Why Nicodemus could not understand? Because he's being literal. Nicodemus is saying, "How can I go back into my mother's womb?" Okay. <laughs> he's he's being he's being direct. He's being literal. Whereas Christ is saying, "No, it's a it's it's meant." as a figure of speech because it's a spiritual it's thing. not figure speech so if anything it's not figure speech because no. are you talking to you i bought it again i you are talking to you my spirit change the spirit of evil that is in me god put it down and that's why i cannot hate but uh, okay, but to be fair, we we still hate. I am not hate. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about you. Well, I'm, I'm I, not, I don't know about you. Well, I'm gonna say that in the in in likeness, you can't say that you don't find yourself in places where you might be part. I don't hate. Well, it, it may not be hate, but there's there's anger. I don't hate. It's judgment. There's many different. That's not that not but my business. I don't hate. Because I'm saying, I'm God, saying, yeah. God, yeah. God, God has made a miracle into my spirit. Yes. And this is why my peace cannot be disturbed. Well, I, I'll say that the journey of being born again is not a... I don't know. It's well, not that, go, go to God and find out. But me, yeah, I, cannot, not, well, I cannot not, speak. I cannot speak for you. I can't. I'm not speaking. I, for you. I'm speaking I, for I you. cannot. I don't know. I cannot speak for you. Well, I'm just saying. One thing I could well, tell you, I don't hate. Right. I and I, I get shocked. I get a lot of things happen to me. 
But I've been asking my heavenly father to put love in me. And he answered my prayer. Yes, and I, I believe every- I, think, I, I, I don't know, I, I am talking I about- believe, Yeah, I think- I, I'm holding, I'm holding, me. Well, and he, I, I, would, and I, I cannot explain to you how it happened. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, Pastor, but the, the fact of the matter- I cannot tell you how it happened, but every, it happened. Everybody <laughs> has their different, I could say for a fact myself, I don't I'm born again, but I still sin. I, I don't know. I don't. I, this is between I, you and me. Yeah, and I, I can only speak for myself, I guess. That's what I'm saying to me. I, what I do know. know is that the being born again is a journey. It's not a... It's not a journey for me no more. Okay. Uh, what is to me now is to stay in the course that he put me. Well, that's why they tell you that when you have given a brand new spirit, you feed the spirit, right? So, well, uh, to my, say, my, 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 my yes. situation, let's <laughs> just say that there are times where I would find myself somebody who says that they used to be angry all the time and they didn't, they, 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 they well, that's somebody you're talking, I don't care about somebody, right? Because, but it, it's that's not, not my business, okay? That, my business, whether somebody says so, that it's between, between him and God. I'm talking about to you, Monique sent you. Mm. What is in me and how God is dealing with me? Pay your individually, this is the way God is dealing with me. I ask him and he fulfill it. And the only thing he makes me now to know is to stand the course. That doesn't mean. As I read that passage in, in 100, some 190 something, it doesn't mean a, a enemy not going to poke on me. It doesn't mean I am not going to be persecuted. It doesn't mean I am not going to be called name. It doesn't mean that I am not even kill me. It doesn't mean that. It only mean God set me to a cause and I have to stay on it. And, and, and the point is that the beauty about it, it makes me feel good. <laughs> that, it, because when, when, when peace come out from me, I feel disturbed. I am disturbed, confused. And that's why I don't want to leave that cause. Because that cause is tastes good, it feel good, it is 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 everything that I need. Peace. That's all. That's all I need. Peace. So back to the normal. God is talking to Ezekiel concerning the leaders, concerning the people that are child. And Christ now in, 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 in um, John 8 is speaking to the leaders and he telling the leaders who he is. So Christ now cannot define himself in a, such a way just as I cannot define myself to you anyway, just like Christ cannot define himself unless they get it. But they don't get it. Which is not my surprise, not surprise for me that they don't get it. Why? Because they blind. Say that again. They blind. They blind. It's not surprise to me that they blind. It's not surprise to me. Prophecy is prophecy. Ah, right. <laughs> it, it is written. It is written in the Old Testament. It is written in the Old Testament that these things will happen. Exactly. Uh, that is the thing again. Uh, Ezekiel is talking about a prophecy. And okay, there's another way why this is. That Christ said that he is coming to take right. over. You see that again? Speak up. Speak it's up. like Ezekiel say another way, another uh, 
that he Christ is coming to get to to take over. Yes. He's the one who's uh, yes. for Holy Ship uh, the all the sheep your guy they go somewhere else. Places to places. So the Lord coming to gather and all the sheep together and stuff like that. So uh, okay, read verse four. Read verse four in the book of Ezekiel, thirty-four. Verse four in Ezekiel thirty-four. Verse four. Yeah, in verse thirty-four, in chapter thirty-four, Ezekiel. The disease have yet have ye not strengthened? Neither have ye healed that which was sick. Neither have ye bound up that which was broken. Neither have ye brought again that which was not driven away. Neither have ye sought that which was lost. But with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. Now, back to that, <laughs> you could see that, I mean, what you have to do or what we have to do, we have to see the environment in which we live. That's why people, religious people, isolated religious word from the government and from the country itself. The, we we living in different world. Are we not living in different world? Are we not living in different world? When G, when we go to the um, pulpit, we say, "Believe in Jesus Christ, that shall be saved." What do we mean? Believe that he is God and he died for his sins. Yeah, that's all we mean. Mm -hmm. What does he mean? That you says. What are you asking himself? What does he mean? He said. Yeah. What do you mean when when we say believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? That shall be saved. That you. Are you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your personal savior and you seek to live your life. Yeah, but what did Christ, what Christ is all about? It's all about righteousness, salvation. <laughs> we might your word. Please pay attention. It's about righteousness. But what will Christ say to us to do? To live. Say no more. Yeah. Say no more. What do you mean by say no more? You have the right to do all this. And how do we do things right? To live as he does. Do all. <laughs> ah, ah. And what did Christ do? Right. What right Christ did? Uh, all right. I mean, this. this Give me some information. Loves his fellow neighbor, the, the, obey the laws of God, treat others as you would treat yourself, all those things. Christ gave us one commandment. That commandment is a lot. Yeah, of course, it's a lot. But to me, it's one people, thing. People it's believe when you say believe in Jesus Christ, that I'll be saved, and that's about it. Not. I, you know, do you know, do you know, do you know Christ not going to take a dirty people in this kingdom? If you are here on earth and you follow the way of this earth, Christ not going to take you, put it in his kingdom, you know. You better, all of us, all of us better 
struggle to ask God to take out all the mess that we have in our, in our system. All the things that we have in our system, which is not right. Yes. And he says, uh, he says that's all of us. Well, that's why I, I said all of us. Yeah, said Better all pray for to take all the system that we involve in this world to leave it there and to accept a static exercise. Is that exercise the righteousness of God in our life? That's that's the whole point of the Holy Spirit. So all right, my brother, please give me a break. Now you understand the situation. He says, see, it starts out with all have fallen short of God's grace, right? Then he says, God will give you a comforter and God will give you, because the thing is, that's the, the thing. Nobody, when you say, you said the word unclean, that's everybody. There's not a single person. Yeah, that, we know that. That's everybody. Then starts the process. And that's what I was saying before when you said, well, uh, when, says, when you said the word born again, I said that part. It's not everybody automatically, now you're born again, now automatically you're unclean. Because if you live the system of life for all your life- uh, My brother, it's deeper than that. Yes, it's, that's what I mean to say. It's deeper than that. Remember, seed of God don't sin. Yes. So I would agree with you that all of us are baby. But I would also say that once you became born again, that you've never sinned afterwards. And that's... that's Forget what, about To me, that's when, tough, that's no, tough, listen, tough. listen to me. Whenever, whenever I am born again, uh, my concentration now is to live according to the Holy Spirit. Right. Pay you. Finish. My, my, where I am putting my energy, is to live according to the instruction the Holy Spirit is giving me. Pay I don't have I don't have energy to go to the other side because it is wasting time. I know where I came from. I know on the other side what it is already. Why I have to keep go, go, uh, poking in it and again? Wait now. My my focus now is to move forward. I am moving forward, not backward. I am receiving the, the Holy Spirit instruction how and, and Yeshua, Messiah, is ahead of me. And I'm looking, I am reading the word. Right now, is not with me in the flesh. Do you understand me? It's not with me in the flesh. It's with me in the spirit. It's not with me in the flesh. I am not seeing a man stand up before me and follow him. But the word that he left behind, those words put in my spirit every single day. I have to reverse them and try to understand them and try to follow them. This is the way it is. Other things, I don't have time for that now. Because I am in it already. I've been in it. In fact, I struggle to get out. So I have to repeat it anymore. You, you already... Part of my system, now I want to get good of it. You, you see, Trump, you know why Trump is still is still is still in the in the society? You know why Trump is still in the society, in this society in America. Any one of you could tell me why Trump is still in the society in America. What do you mean by in society? And I mean, uh, it's still popular. Because he's because people like him. Because he's in the news at all times in the news. <laughs> yeah, but he's in the news because a lot the of the news people keep him in the time. If you go to, I, I was talking to, I was listening to that England guy. To that England guy, which is true. What he's saying makes sense to me. In England, the parliament, once you are a prime minister, once you get out, you get out. Nobody talk about you no more. You vanish. But in the democracy, 
Government is a different ball game. In a democracy, government is a different ball game. The person is still in the news. Going on all time, all time, all time. So that means he carry more weight. All the prime minister that was in England, once they leave office, everything gone. All the baggage go with them. Trump baggage is still there on the media. So therefore then he's making more, 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 more disciples. The more he's the more popular in the media, is the more disciple he's making. I think you could say the same for Obama. I don't think it'll be a difference. Well, I'm not putting Obama. I take, um, I take a Trump. You could take the others and see. You could compare the others and see what I am saying makes sense. But I think the point is that Trump is popular because there's a lot of people who support who still support him. Whether the people support him because is more people is going to get the more is in the news. But also, he could still run. It's not but, but that I already tell you that from the time television news. No, I'm saying for other people who can't run, that's different. But since he cannot, yeah, but because of the, the democracy, the system in which we are, England system is a different system. Understand what I mean by England system? Just take a peek on the England system, Parliament, and because they have the king. I mean, they have to. They still, they still vote for. Um, it's not. It's not really much different from us. It's just. It's just There's a lot of different in, 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 in the parliament than 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 the, than, the, than than Congress. America has two three branches of America. Three branches of a government. Those three branches. They are the main system of America. The yeah. three branches. The parliaments have. They have. Senators, they have parliaments, then they have their own judges. They have similar, it's not different. They have they are a lot of different, they are a lot of things are not connected per se. This is why America makes sure it don't stay on the rule of England. America, the, the all forefathers, I call it forefathers, but the American forefathers did not stay in, in the same system that America, uh, England have. They change it completely to a democratic government. Whereas America cannot have a king. America cannot have a president for life. The system America has, it cannot have a president for life. Once he has a president for life, the system broke. The constitution going to break. He's going to match up the constitution. And this is what your, your brother Trump want to do. And not only Trump, but many of the senators in the Congress want to do. Nevertheless, I don't have time for that. Let us go, let us finish that. So you see, the different what is in 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 a in, in a John in John two on John eight John eight let's go back to John eight for a few seconds. Let 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 finish it and and um and see the conversation of Christ with the Pharisees in John eight. We were in verse twelve. Let us take verse eight. Let us take verse 14. Anybody could read it for me? Verse 14 in John 8. In John 8, he said, Though I bear a record of myself, yet my record is true. For, uh, for I know 
whence I came and where I go, but ye cannot tell where the I come on and where the I go. Now, verse 15. Verse 15. He judge ye after the flesh. I judge not man. I judge no man. Why? Why Christ not judge after no man? And why did judge after the flesh? And what do we mean by flesh? They judge superficially. What do you mean by superficially? Naomi, are you here? You go on. I'm here. I'm here. You have to speak I'm up. You, know. I'm, you have to speak up. Don't, 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 don't sleep on me, please. I'm trying not to. <laughs> why, why they judge um, um, after the flesh? Ricardo say artificial, um, perfect, pe, pe, um, pe, pe, um, superficially. That means just something not, not, not deep, but Christ used the word flesh. What do you mean by flesh? Or God, or they put flesh there. You're talking about man's spirit. Man's spirit, man. Yeah, but he, told, he said they judge, he, he, they judge after the flesh. What do you mean that? Uh, the judge, uh, we, yeah, you have a point here too, you know, but nevertheless, I will uh, go ahead. Yeah, the judge out of the flesh, out of the flesh. They don't, when you judge out of the flesh, that stuff you don't know. You, 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 you just talk about what you know, what you, you think you know, you think you know, but uh, that's, that's, that's flesh out of men, men talk. Um, uh, what did they say yeah. about Jesus Christ, avec Yeshua, Mishia? What did they say about Yeshua when he reached in Galilee, when they <laughs> started making a um, miracle? What did they say about him? They judge out of that too. They judge him. No, well, well, I, 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 want, I want to bring you out to the flesh business. I want to okay. bring your understanding to the word flesh. Okay, why they judge him? Yeah, I want to, they judge after the flesh. Christ said they judge after the flesh. But I want to bring your attention to when Christ came and he started making miracle, and then um, they start amazed to the way he's doing things. And then they start saying what? Why they judge? Because first of all, when you look at it, when me and when we, I'm gonna take the example out of me as as a man, as a man. Let's let's talk about as a man. Remember, it's by the uh, not the Holy Spirit, our spirit, our, our little spirit, little spirit. So it's part of call what call. Jealousy is a jealousy. We do know that we do know that is you, jealousy, but go back to the flesh. You because there's no other way called you could describe there it. There is other way. That's where I want to push you. Judging. You be, you you become judging. Yeah, but you judging judge. by, by by what what they take to judge you. What they that's why I, I, I would ask, ask you, please, when you, people, when you folks read, try to retain those, those verses. So whenever we talk, you could refer to them. Then that will give you a clue of what, when somebody says something. Mm. When they come in book of John, 
and Jesus Christ is making miracle before the prof, before the people. And the people, they start to be amazed. How do they refer to Christ when they start to amaze? They say, is not that the son of Joseph? And his, his daughter, his brother is not living among us? What do what they mean by that? Saying he's nobody special, he's somebody. <laughs> this is after the flesh. Um, yeah. This is after the flesh. In other words, now they compare Christ, they compare his parents now with other parents. His they, parents they say, him, uh, They put him lower, like he goes, nobody. Okay. Nobody. Okay. When you when when we read, try to match up those those conversations, and then we won't have no problem whatsoever to see what these people attack. Why they why they refer to Mary? Why did it fit to Joseph? Because where they come from. Where what they do you mean where they come from? It's a poor place. It's a poor family. Not poor place. It's a poor family. Yeah. The family didn't have much. Much, yeah. They didn't have much. In fact, Yeshua, according to the scripture, he was born in the place that is where the animal was. Yes. Is that something special about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To whom is to, to whom who accuse him now? Who tell him this thing in verse the first thing he said? The Pharisees said, you, you are a liar. Could the Pharisees stand up in the face of the, um, in the, um, in the high priest to tell the high priest that? Could they? Or would they? Would the Pharisees start, stand up right in the front of the, the, the high priest? and tell the high priest that he's a liar? No. Why? Because the high priest is revered, so it would be... The high priest is the top of the food chain. Could I stand up before the president of America and tell him he's a liar? Yeah, it's different. I have to have guts. I mean, America, no. I mean, other countries, maybe, but America, yeah, you could call the president. They do it all the time. To go in his, in his face. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, what's going to happen to the person? I mean, you might get, they might get chastised, but he's not legal. Here. <laughs> you will get chastised. Maybe Haiti or maybe other countries, you might. Yes, yes, yes. That's the truth. That, no, I agree. I agree with you because of the free speech we have here. So-called free speech. <laughs> So-called free speech. But could you go to the king of it? Could you go to, to um, a, a Putin? <laughs> How you call it? I call him Putin. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Now, that's a country. Absolutely not. Right. He poisons everybody who tries to go against him. He kills him. <laughs> Could you go to the king um, of Saudi Arabia and say that? What's that? So, do you see the situation when Christ says you speak after the flesh? That word flesh means both spirit and body. What do I mean by it mean both the spirit and the body? Well, spirit. Spirit 
has spirit. Yes, go ahead. Give me, give me more, please. Give me. The spirit that we we, we was born with. That's in, right. In our... That's right. That we, 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 we speak up, no, my sister. Give me, give me more. Oh, you get time. So you see, uh, the spirit that we are living in darkness, that is spirit with lack of understanding, lack of knowledge, lack of a real comprehension, will say that and promote the flesh, which is the body. But the spirit of God will not say that. And then finally, we, we live now in verse 16, verse 14, and yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am <laughs> not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. <laughs> Do you see the difference between God, between Yeshua now? Yes. Now, where do, why Yeshua referring to the Father here? <laughs> the Father knew everything. The Father, the Father, which is <laughs> go to go go to Isaiah nine. Isaiah <laughs> chapter nine, mm -hmm. and I finish from there. Isaiah chapter nine. And Isaiah chapter 9, verse 8. Chapter 9, I believe. He said that. Um. I think it's in Isaiah chapter nine. Am I right? When he's looking for when he said that they will call his name counselor, appointed priest, but there are other verses there I could get you. The yeah. verse six. Is on verse six. Oh, uh, okay. Verse, let's go. Let's go to verse four. For thou hast breaking the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the root of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is with confusion, with confused noise and garment wool in the blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a child is given. Unto us a child is born, unto us a child is given. Who give that child? The Father give it. God give it. And what happened to him? Which that Naomi already mentioned that before. I recall that she said that the government shall be upon his shoulder. But Christ has to whom Christ have a responsibility. Us. To us, the same question remains. To whom Christ have a responsibility? God. How? God sent him. Yes, for what? Why Yahweh sent him? I know there are many answers for that, but give me one. To be his, to be his placeholder on earth, to be 
dignity of man, to be the God amongst men. Yes, that's a good name. That's a very good one, very good one. But to whom Yeshua really responsible or um, um, not responsible, I should I use the word responsible, to whom he, he to whom he give an account to. To himself, to God. How? By representing man. To re to to carry on God duty. To fulfill God plan. What was God plan? You remember, and I'm closing. He said. God will toward man that none should perish. He didn't say Jesus Christ, Yeshua will to man that he should not perish. God will. Go ahead. You're saying that uh, to give, okay, to carry, to carry the message to the others. To carry not only the message, which is true, but to carry the plan. To execute the plan. The plan don't come from Jesus. Did he? Did the plan come from Yeshua? Yes. I, mean, I know what you mean to say, but we, we're not. Well, telling me, if you know what I mean, what do I mean? Well, you're saying it's God and not Jesus, but we're talking about the same entity. So, in a Well, I, I, can, no, I cannot put Jesus in that category. You know, you, 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 I have to leave Jesus alone. Falling back, because remember, we started beginning of this. We were talking about how God is the Holy Spirit, and you say that. Yes, but I, in that category, you know why question. I have to leave that? So I'm just saying. It. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Give me, uh, me? anyone. Why do I have to leave that? But because he is God. Yeah, but why, why, I, why I have to leave God? Leave God. Why I have to leave? Why I have, why I have to leave Yeshua? He has to represent man. Right. Represent man, and so, once he represent man, is not a God. He's right. a man. Okay. But he's not a man and he is he's God. a man. If no. he was not a man, he could not die. Well, he yes, but the well, reason well, yes. die, you see, but you're 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 missing the point. The point is it's not to make God man, it's to make man God. So no, sir, forget it, please, please, please. Wait, wait. Okay, while you're, he's you're, a calling, you're, 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 you're it's semantic. No, sir, listen, listen carefully, listen carefully. God established from the beginning a plan. The mm -hmm. creator, Yahweh. Yes. This is why I bring that message. If you see that message, you could see the situation here. God put him saying, this is why he confused Lucifer. He confused Lucifer just like that. God make a plan. But that plan had to carry on. For the plan to carry on, he needed a man to carry on the plan. Therefore, a man is given, which is Yeshua. This is why you see in every passage in this message, in, 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 in the old in the New Testament, Yeshua always refer to the Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father is the one we do not know. Exactly. He's the one that we do not know. And we that do we don't know. know. And Yeshua coming to, uh, to expose him to us. It expose him. Yes, we, we, we agree with that. That means he was posed as a man. He, he comes as a man, but he, he is directing us to, to, to Yahweh. 
Okay. That's the one John chapter one saying that <laughs> he become flesh. He become flesh. That he become flesh. But I feel like, I feel like if you want to make that. Flesh. In one I year. That, that is, that is I understand you want to make the story, but if John says in, he's God and God becomes flesh, there's no need to argue. We understand what we're saying. So we know what you're trying to say. Is meant for the religious argument that they say Jesus is not God. So Jesus has to represent what Isaiah says. But at the end of the day, we know what the story is. Yeah, but even at the end of the day. So we know, we, know, we, know, we know what Isaiah made the prophet, the prophecy. But John is already establishing, he's saying that this is already beyond Isaiah's prophecy. This goes yeah, beyond. Yeah, of course. Of course. I agree. I agree. We're not talking about it in yeah. the. If you want to stick with it in the in the Old Testament sense, which is why you have you have um, Hebrew Israelites who refuse to consider Jesus Christ as God, you have um, 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 O Jehovah's Witness who have the same argument. This, that's a Jehovah's Witness argument. But the yeah, we, yeah. that's not the, that's not what this is not a necessary thought. It's unnecessary. It's just it is, it is, just it there is. for for argument's sake. But Jesus is God. We know it, that. It, no it is deeper than that. No it is deeper. No, it, it, it is deeper than that. Um, actually, let me say this. Actually, we cannot see God. Yes, that's why. But, no, listen, but, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I mean, pay attention to what I'm saying here. We cannot see God even when we change the body, the new body that we're going to have, we're still not going to see God the way we think we're going to see God. God, can, the creator cannot be seen. The only way you could see the creator is in Christ. Exactly, but there's right. another thing. Um, the God is in him, what is in him? Well, but, but it's more than it's that. It's, but it's the spirit that's in him. So um, that's what uh, my, uh, father, uh, my father say, as in flesh and man, but God is inside of him as spirit that directs everything. Yeah, but this because, is, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> okay. He, that's he, the spirit. He, it's the spirit that do it all. No, well, not only the spirit that do it all. Control, control out of his listen, flesh. Listen to this. That's from the word. Listen to that verse. Listen to that passage. In the in the in the in the book of Revelation. Holy Spirit, I'm trying to. L listen to the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation said, "There will be no temple." Exactly. There's God, no gonna be sent. God the is the temple. That, the, the one that rise from the death. He is the one that we're gonna be worshiped. That's the one that but, we're gonna be still has that's that's the that's the reason why look we cannot describe uh, uh, we cannot describe him really we cannot no we can't I agree, we with you. We I agree with you. We but, cannot the word Christ he, is he, he already revealed himself. He already he, revealed himself to us. Um, That's why where you was reading, you he's saying that uh he is the light. Whoever yes, he, he, is an, uh, well Christ Christ he, he is the light. That light. He gave that light to us and that light. That right now, right now, we talking. That's the light make us the talk. No, 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 no don't put it. We feel so much. Don't, don't put it like this. Don't put it like this. According to the language of Revelation, right? He said there will be no light. There will be no sun. He going to be the sun. That's right. Not only going to be the sun, but he going to be a temple. So let me exactly. you there before you make any movements. <laughs> so, we're going to stop it here for a second, but I'm just going to say this. You said 
Yeshua will be the light. He will be the no, it's not it's not Yeshua going to be the light. See now what happens? Where are we now? Wait, no, wait, no, what wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, understand Ricardo. Yeah. When we talk about Yeshua, we're talking about a man. No, you see, that's where we have to separate because I, I don't separate the two and I find it difficult to. Uh, wait, no, you see. I, find, I think it's, it's leaving. I, well, I think we'll, we might have who, to. Who, who is Yeshua? Yeshua is the physical embodiment of God. Okay, physical embodiment of God. But the person inside is doesn't doesn't die. Wait, wait, wait! He was not born, and he was not born here. He was not born in the womb of of, of Mary. That's the name we choose to give him to accept a man who becomes God. But Yeshua has always existed. Yeshua it says, "No, not Yeshua. Yeshua, say, Yeshua say, never, Yeshua never existed." Let me say how. Let me try it again. It says, it's in the Yahweh. Beginning, "Wait, wait, wait, Pastor. I'm gonna say it. Let me just say it. In the beginning was the Word. The Word became God, and the Word was made flesh. I'm, I'm made to give fast. The Word was made, but Yeshua, so Yahweh, Yahweh is, Yahweh is the Creator. Yes, which is Yeshua." Which become yes. Yeshua. He didn't have to become Yeshua. We call him Yeshua now. That's the it's name Yeshua. we used to give him. But he, that's we made the name. We gave him the name. It means Jesus said, that means God has saved. Yahweh has saved. That's what it means. Yahweh saves. Yahweh, Yahweh saved. That's what Yeshua, Yeshua means. Yeshua is a man. But the name is Yahweh has saved. That's what he means. Yes. So that's what it, that's what it means. Um, so what, what I want you to do, what I want you to do, go in the book of Revelation and read um, chapter 21 and let God lead you. Read chapter 21. Let God lead you. We'll have to I, come back. I see where you were. I, I see where you were. That <laughs> temple. That temple is Christ. It is Christ that the temple. Read the, the temple. read the book of Revelation. Read the book of Revelation. Read the book to chapter 21. We'll go. The, the, the temple. So we'll have to come back to this next week. We have to come back in it. And uh, if we have time next to next week, next, next, if we will have really. And by the way, we're going to close. Um, God, thank you for, for this. Uh, <laughs> it is wonderful. Um, what I, I am going to, um, try to open the assembly again, uh, one of the Sunday at Lenox. So, um, the Lord really want us to open that place again to receive folks. So, um, I cannot say pray about it, but I have to say pray about it for me. That um, we're going back to Linux. Uh, we're going to just choose one Sunday that we're going to start the services in Linux. That's all I could say now. So maybe pray to, to close. Mm. Naomi, you want to pray? Oh, yes. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. Thank you for everything, all the beautiful things that you're doing. Yes, sir. Where you sit at home alone in your throne, you're looking down, mm -hmm. you're looking, you're looking, you keep looking. Uh, you keep defending us in every way. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you for that, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you for who you are in our lives. Mm -hmm. You are the good shepherd. You are the will shepherd. Yes, that's right. In truth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for every day. 
Thank you for every minute, every yes. second, yes. and every hour. Yes. You are good. You're wonderful. Thank you for security that we have. Yeah, man. Amen. 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 For your words yes. that live in yes. every day we see it, Lord. Yes, every day do while we walk in. Yes, every day we see it while we stand up. Yes, while we sit down. Mm. And when we sleep. thank you for the living word. Amen. That's why we live for because you live. We live. And yes, Lord, yes. we have tomorrow yes. because tomorrow belongs to our Father, yeah, man. To, our, to our Savior. Yes, sir. Thank you for the future you're preparing for us. Yes, sir. Father, we thank you. Everything, Lord, Amen. is not in nobody's hand, it's in your hand. Amen. You you rule for everlasting. Amen. You rule the nation. Yes. You rule years. Amen. Thank you for that. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. We have the treasure. Amen. The treasure is down. Amen. We come down. Uh-uh, Lord. <laughs> you give us treasure, even treasure forever and evermore. Keep us as you continue to keep us under the wind. That no man out there, they don't see it. Mm -hmm. We see it. Every day we see it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. In the precious, we're going to be separated. But we're not separate for world. As flesh, we are separate. Because yeah, we can't see each other. But we combine Amen. in one body. Amen. By the authority of the spirit. Yes, sir. By the authority of the body of Christ. Amen. That blood that we praise, that we worship you, we adore you. You watch it because you watch it, yes. Father. <laughs> we okay, we good. In Jesus' name, Amen. we ask for forgiveness and all grace to our brother and our sister, wherever where they live. You see them, and that name we pray you Amen. in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to you, Lord. Amen. Amen. See you guys. God bless. See you guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.